Hey guys, your casual keyboard guy back at you with another tutorial. And this tutorial is gonna be really, really fast. Oh, sorry, my hand. I'm trying to make sure it was straight. Uh, I think that's straight. Uh, there we go. All right. So real quick, this tutorial is for um my subscriber um Joseph. He asked me to do "We Are One" by Frankie Beverly and Maze. This is a very simple song. So let's jump right into it. <clears throat> Play a little bit of it. There we go. We are one. Just going through the change. thing they do is something like and then the song is so dumb simple so let me jump into it so intro so you got D in the left you got F sharp you got C and you got F So, first chord, I gave you that. I remember this chord because we're going to play it again. This chord is played a lot in the song. Then it's the next chord is just a quick passing chord. You're going to have a E flat minor over F sharp. So, you got F sharp. You got um, in the bass. You got F sharp, B flat, or F sharp. Let's say G flat. Let's just say G flat. <clears throat> G flat, B flat. And E flat. So you got G flat in the bass. Same thing as F sharp. G flat, F sharp are the same same note. G flat, B flat, and E flat. And then you're gonna land on on this chord. <clears throat> so this chord is a G minor seven. So you got G in the bass. You got um, F. You got B flat. You got D, and you got F. So F in the bass. F, B flat, D, and F. So this G minor chord is 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 nice. So it's a couple ways you could play it. So um, you can either play it like the one I just showed you, like this, or you can play it like this, which is gonna be G. Same thing in the bass, and you gonna have F, A, C, and F again. So I think this this is this how they do it on the record, I believe. But you know, I like to experiment and have fun with my chords. So you get to do it like this, which makes it like a like a sus chord, like a eleven, you could say, or like a sus chord. You could do it like this, which is the minor, like the minor nine, or like the minor um seven. I mean, or you could do it like this, which is the minor nine, which is gonna be the same bass note, F, A, B flat, and D. So you know, take your pick. So you could do it like this. Like I just showed you, um, the first time. The second chord, you could do it like this, or you could do that chord like that. So you take your pick. Um, you take your pick. But I believe the record does it like this. Okay, so uh, where we at? One, two, three. Two. I think I gave you that. Okay. One, two, three. Two, three, and so after you get off the intro, you start on this B flat, which is a B flat um seven chord um with an added two. So you got B flat in the bass. You got A flat. You got C. You got D, and you got F. So. Um, B flat in the bass, A flat, C, D, F. And the bass just does some little bump, 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 bump. So I'm gonna give you the bass note, and as I give you the bass note, each one kind of does that same little bounce. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. So anyway, so you got the B flat chord, then you got this A chord, which is A in the bass, and you got G, C, and E flat. Okay, got that chord. Much pretty much like a C minor over A. 
And then you got that same D chord that I already showed you. I already showed you this chord. So, okay. right here that G minor like I said you can play any of those three chords I showed you this one this one or this one either way so I'll kind of play through and I'll do different ones as I go but it's the same on that same part three different types of chords you could do so where am I at so right out the intro They, they do a lot of movements in this song, but um, I'm just going to show you this one that I, that you can do, and this movement will be, um, you do it right before you go to the G minor chord. So just pretty much, when you're hitting this D chord, you bring the, the F to the E flat. And then you land on the G chord, so... should be like that type of movement bring that e flat over and then come down to the g minor it's kind of how the intro is so you could do the, the e flat two chord how i showed you you could do that too but just to simplify it you could just also do just bring the e down by itself when you hit that f sharp in the bass to come back to the g so i'm gonna show you in context so um so you got the b flat remember it's right after the intro There's a lot of the same chords over and over again. So of course, so so after you start on that B flat after the intro, and you go around once and get back to this G, you, you into the song, pretty much. After you know they play it a couple times, but then he comes in at like maybe a couple times through. Something of time. Now you hit that B flat, then to the A chord, same chords to the D. Same chords over and over again. <clears throat> so when I'm done with that basses, I'm going uh, same bounce, B flat, A, D. Then I'm doing I'm going from D F sharp to G, just a quick like passing chord. slow that down so or you can just do either way you want to do it I showed you all the chords so you know um, like I said it's simple so um, let me see what's next so we are one we are one that same chord that you played over G guess what you can play it over the E flat same chord but now you're just playing an E flat in the bass with an F, B flat, D, and F. I already showed you this chord. So we are one. And then guess what? We're going to the G. No matter what we do. Or what we say, whatever he said, he's saying. So you're going to the E flat to the G. So you can play the same as that chord over the G. So simple, right? So we are one. No matter. This D to get back to the E flat. So, but guess what? Same chord, simple, right? We now like the record they do like some some different things, but this is like pretty much the bare bones basics, and um, you know what I mean. So this is this will get you playing the song very fast. So, um, so we are one. No matter what, and rhythm, boom. D chord, bump. Um, and then you know you can do the same thing. So like I said, it's the same stuff over and over again. So once once you get the chords down, just listen to the record, and pretty much you'll be able to play 
rep with the record because like I said it's the same stuff over and over again they loop the same chords and um yeah like a lot of these chords you can play on the same you play on the same you playing the same chords over different bass notes so I'm gonna play through it once and then I'm gonna show you the riff and then I'm out of here so let me see one, two three First, the first time starting that B flat, A. Now you back into the groove on J. Remember that one? Remember that one? I'm gonna do the other one now. Remember that? Do any of them G chords you want. song is so smooth we are one no matter what we sing for we are one sing for we are one and Entire song, um, like I said, there's variations. Like, e like whenever you get shown a chord, you can always invert the chord. You know, add other notes. You know what I mean? So, you know, experiment some. You know, my journey on piano wasn't just me. You know, watching people, you know, teach songs. I mean, I would if I was in a bind. You know, I need to learn a song quick. But basically, once you get the song and like, you know, you you play around with it, make it your own, have fun with it, and um, don't be restrained to to just what I show you, you know, have fun, learn, get the structure of it, and then, you know, take it and make it your own. So, um, you know, you'll be a, a better piano player the more you experiment and find stuff out, you know. That's that's how my piano journey's been, just exploring, experimenting, and having fun, man. It's a, it's a beautiful instrument, so, you know, don't, don't short yourself by, you know, just following block things. Like, you know, learn what from me, but also have your own identity. So, um... Anyway, so the riff is going to be, because um, it's right after the piano or organ solo, so it's very simple. Is Let me see. I'm going to do it down here. That's the whole thing. I think it's like... So I'm going to do it real slow. So you got D, C, F. D, G, F, B flat, G, C, B flat, D, C, and then you end on the F, but you can play that same chord that you already learned. So, um, they, you know, they, they grooving, they grooving, um, let me see. The organ doing this little solo. Instead of hitting the D, they go. Wow. It's a nice groove. So like I said, just take it slow. They do it with two hands. So, you know, get it up to speed. That slow, real time. Real time. And then, so, um, that's it. Hope it helps you, Joseph, man. And um, just glad to do these tutorials. You know, like, subscribe, get your friends to subscribe, share. I'm here to make videos to help people. And, you know, I love doing this. So, you know, um, some songs I may take longer to do a tutorial on, depending on if I know the song. But um, I promise you I will get to every tutorial that was requested. And, um, you know, guys, your keyboard kit. Casual keyboard guy. I might change my name to Kid. I like that. It just rolls off my tongue better. I don't know. But casual keyboard guy signing off. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And um, like I said, show me some love. Comment. Like, share. Send me some love. All right, peeps. Holla.